The late autumn months, October, November, and even into the early winter, December, has proven to be, for me, the best time of year for me to go shore fishing for garfish, which may surprise some of you that think they're only a summer species. So at least once a year, hopefully a couple of times a year, I like to set out and target garfish for a couple of reasons. One, I find it is fun, it's fun fishing, it's chilled out fun fishing. And the other, the main reason is that I enjoy eating garfish. So it's good to see if I can get a few each year. So that's what we're doing. Now this video is, is mainly about the cooking of the garfish. Bit of catching of them and then hopefully catch a few and, and cook them particularly for those of you that have never tried garfish or are put off maybe by their green scales and their green bones. So I'm going to be float fishing for them, which is my favourite way of targeting garfish. Of course, you can spin for them as well, but float fish for them. Now, I've done a few videos now about fishing, float fishing for garfish where I've gone into more detail about the setup. But So I'll put those links to those videos in the description. So I'm going to float fish for them and just going to be using little bits of mackerel from the belly section of mackerel I've caught in the past little strips of mackerel of about inch and a half long fishing very shallow because garfish like to feed close to the surface surface so usually don't fish more than six feet but today I'm fishing in fairly shallow water so I've only got it set to about three three to four feet okay so hopefully we'll catch a few and as I said and then uh, prepare and cook some. Okay, off we go. Quite nice conditions today. Just a very, very gentle breeze, which is, which is great. I always like it when it's fairly calm for float fishing. So dead simple, really. Just cast this out. Just let it drift along a bit and uh, hopefully there's a few garfish around. I'm on the ebb tide today, um, which is not ideal really, but, but never mind. Um, I know there's plenty around, it's just a case of if I get some that are big enough for to take home. Well, what a beautiful, beautiful day it is. Afternoon it is. Uh, we're getting towards, getting towards the end of October now. And uh, yeah, it's, it's an absolutely fantastic, it's been horrible, the weather, but it's warm today. And, uh, and still, it's a real pleasure to be by the water. Looks like I've got my first, my first garfish bite. Float's gone flat on the surface, I'm being dragged. Yep, there we go. Oh, <laughs> they are, they can be acrobatic. Hey, acrobatic garfish. For those of you that don't know, the garfish, what we call the garfish, is also known as needlefish in the US. Probably we called it needlefish because of their mouth here. Mouth here looks like a needle. And also called long nose. The long nose of the game because of their because of their mouth. A little bit like a swordfish. But yeah, they're they're great to eat if you've never tried them. If you like mackerel, you'll like garfish got a beautiful sweet meat and most of the belly the the bones the green bones are in this belly section here which I remove I'll show you later and all the way along the back there we'll call it the loin if you like it's a beautiful beautiful sweet meat and then when we get down beyond the the vent most of the belly bones stop there at the vent and then you've got a lovely bit of meat down at the down at the tail end. Right, looks like a garfish has picked up the bait. Tell tail tine, tell tail sign. The float starts sitting flat on the surface. 
Ah, oh, but this, this one, um, this, oh, I don't know, that might be a, I saw one jump um, by the float that was very, very, very small, so uh, we'll see. Yeah, this, this, this one's too small, so we'll get this unhooked and get it back. Fortunately, it was hooked, hooked okay, so we'll get it back. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's too small. It's not, not worth taking. I have noticed actually this year, uh, when I've been fishing for other other things like bass, you know, when you lure fish in and you you always tend to tend to see the garfish following following the lures in. Um, that there has been a lot of a load of tiny, tiny, tiny garfish um, that are just way that would be way too small to to take home to eat. I mean, as regards size, I would say probably, it's got to be probably at least, at least 50, 50 centimetres, I would say. Uh, well, over 50 centimetres to be worth, worth taking where you'll get a decent, decent fillet off. And that, that certainly wasn't worth taking. But never mind, a bit of fun. Oh, what a day, look at this water. Look at these conditions. These sort of conditions where it's where it's nice and calm like this, just a little bit of a breeze, but nice and calm. I, I just think it's such a pleasure to when you're float fishing, um, just standing by the water here. It's when you get that. Um, when you get a strong onshore or you get a, a quite a quite a strong side wind it can be a bit a bit of a pain float fishing at the moment occasionally it's picking up a little bit and i'm getting a bit of a ripple and a bit of a drag on the line but uh but yeah nice nice calm conditions and it's just such such a pleasure to stand here by the water crystal clear water on a warm oh there we go on a warm autumn's day having a bit of fun relaxing fun yep off it goes no nope. must have dropped it oh yep yeah, we're off again There we go, there we go. Missed that one. I was a bit too, a bit too quick then. Let's come back for it though, or another one has. And got it this time. off again nope missed it missed it well we'll leave it in might come back for it yes it has
Hey, bit of bit of acrobatics. Hey, hey, this is a lively one. Well, now this I didn't expect today. I've, I've been getting um, bites that were clearly not garfish bites. And, uh, and that's what it is, tiny, tiny, tiny mackerel. Which of course is going to go back and get it back without... Yeah, little Joey. Good to see though. Off it goes. Yeah, I thought there was something different out there. Because the float was, instead of with the garfish, it normally rises, sits flat on the surface like that as they pick the bait like that, pick the bait up and, and bring it up to the surface. But these were sort of bobbing and going down, but I wasn't, I wasn't uh, hooking them. And that's why, because they're just the tiny, tiny little joeys. This one's definitely a garfish. Well, that was a lot of fun. Been a fantastic afternoon. So I've got a, I've got a few. I've got uh, enough to to do something with. So what I'm going to do down here, save me making a load of mess at home, is clean them up and get these scrape these green scales off that you get all over your hands when you go garfish fishing. Scrape those off here. Saves me getting them getting them all over the kitchen. And then give them a clean. That goes back in the sea. Probably for the garfish to eat. And then when I get home I'll work out what I'm going to do with them. All right, I've just been filleting some of the garfish and what I'm aiming for is this, to get this lovely bit of meat that runs along the back here and then the, the tail end meat. So in other words, I'm going to fillet, fillet them and take away this belly section here from the head end down to the vent here, which contains most of the green bones and hopefully end, end up with end up with that All right, so now, now what I'm going to do is take the knife and just cut away 
that section there, the belly section down to this point here, the vent. So you just come, you just come in. You've got the pin bones that run down the centre. You're just going to come in just to just to the this side of the pin bones uh, at a slight angle, and then. Do that again. So I'm coming in, got the pin bones there, come in just to this side. And then run it, run the knife along down and then out at an angle to the vent. Like that. There we go, lovely, lovely bit of meat from the back, and then the tail bit, and then I'm just just portion those up, rough, roughly about half. Just trim, trim any bits like that that have been left behind, fins. Fantastic. So I'll carry on now and uh, finish finished the rest of the fish off. That's what we're left with, some fantastic garfish meat. Definitely worth the effort. It was great fun catching them and going to be really enjoyable eating some. I'm not going to eat all of these at once, but portion them up and, and get on and cook some. I've got the fillets here from two of the garfish. And first I'm going to marinate them for about 30 minutes in the fridge. Then they're going to be coated in seasoned flour, which has been seasoned with spices. And then pan fried. And we're going to have them as a first course with some homemade bread. Now for the marinade, I've got some olive oil, about three tablespoons. A crushed garlic clove. Juice of half a lemon and some salt and pepper. So first it's. In with the olive oil. Give those a nice coating. Then season with a bit of salt and black pepper. Then in with the the crushed garlic. And then the lemon juice. Pop that in the fridge for about 30 minutes and then they'll be ready to cook. For the flour mix, I've got roughly about six tablespoons of plain flour, one teaspoon of paprika and a good pinch of cayenne pepper to taste, or about half a teaspoon. I'll just pop that in there. Give that a good mix. Now that's ready for when the fish has finished marinating. 
All right, ready to start cooking. So the fish has been in the fridge marinating for about about half an hour. So I'm going to pop the those into the into the seasoned flour. Give them a good coating. On with the heat. I'm going to pan fry them in olive oil, but you could use a sunflower, sunflower oil or vegetable oil, whichever, whatever you prefer. Just going to gently fry those now until they crisp up. Now, as I've said many times in different videos, when it comes to the cooking, the catch and cook, this to me is a big part of my sea fishing. The whole cycle, the end result, you go out, you plan a trip. It's fantastic being by the water and fishing and when you're successful to actually do this to cooked fish that you've caught yourself um, instead of going and buying it and it's just so rewarding as far as I'm concerned being that we're both uh, Linda and I are lovers of, of eating fish and shellfish it's so re rewarding to to catch your own fish or heart or forest for your own shellfish and and, and whatever and it's, it's just it's just the whole cycle um, obviously I know where the fish came from I know when they were caught how fresh they are and it's just it's just the, the whole thing the preparation of the fishing the success when you are successful and let's face it many times with recreational sea fishing particularly shore fishing uh, we're not successful um, put a lot of time in sometimes for nothing so when you are um, you know to do this prepare prepare the fish and sit down and, and enjoy absolutely fantastic okay they're done now looking nice and golden so I'm just going to pop them on to a kitchen towel to drain and then they'll be ready to serve So that's the garfish done and I've just served them with some grated lemon rind and a slice of lemon if you want a bit of extra lemon juice and some homemade bread. So we're going to sit down now and enjoy these. So for those of you that have never tried garfish before and you enjoy eating fish, give them, give them a go. I can promise you they're worth the effort and absolutely delicious. So once again, I hope you found that useful and many many thanks for watching what are you doing in here nothing i'm just playing with me tackle
Thank you.